Okay, my name is uh, Saidi Abdallah Kibwana. I'm uh, about 60 years old. I'm a resident of Iringa, uh, but uh, I'm a farmer at this place. This place is called Igomtua Village. I, uh, at the moment, I have about uh, uh, eight people. These are the permanent workers who are staying with me, but uh, daily I employ people on uh, laborers. These, they vary between 10 to 15 daily. Uh, my relationship with the EEG is that uh, I'm the franchise holder for Iringa uh, region. Iringa region consists of three districts, that is Kilolo, Mufindi, and uh, Iringa itself, Municipal. So I'm holding the franchise, that means I sell their product, I distribute, and uh, I present them in all their issues of business in this area. What I can say at the moment, so problem of energy in Tanzania is acute. Because at the moment it's only about 10% or 12% of the population which is getting the uh, lights or we'll say energy. And these mostly are in towns and these are the big towns. But in rural areas people what they use usually you find they use kerosene or sometimes they use generators but these are rich people. The poor people, they just uh, depend on uh, lanterns or sometimes they depend on uh, candles and things of that kind. Uh, if they depend on uh, big projects like the Tanesco thing, this, uh, the grid thing, it will take uh, maybe a century before it reaches these villages because they are so much scattered and the population of the villages is very small, most of the villages. Uh, to me, the problem is two ways that, okay, first, uh, this uh, renewable energy uh, like this uh, battery energy or solar energy should be spread to these villages. But at least there should be a scheme whereby these people could be getting financing on how to buy. Up to here, I think it will be okay. Then we'll go up. Then we'll go back to we'll the farm. Ah, the mama, you want to watch What I can say is that if you are working with foreigners, they try to understand your culture, so you should also try to understand them because they are coming from different environment. So at least you should try to learn them so that at least you could match your principles and their principles so that at least you could uh, uh, move together. But uh, one thing you should put into consideration is that uh, like time. For we Africans, time is not a, a real issue. But to them, time is a... Is a, is a is a, is a very crucial thing. At the same time, a promise. If you give a promise that you are going to do a thing on that kind, they stick to that. But uh, on our side is that uh, sometimes there are things which uh, they, should, they, they do not understand. For example, if somebody passes away, somebody dies, that means uh, maybe the whole village is not working that day. So if you tell to him that, okay, somebody has passed here, has passed away and uh, people, we can't get these people today, so it's very difficult for them to understand. So it's for you to try to educate them that, okay, this is our culture, this is supposed to be done like this. <laughs>
to NGOs, this non-government organization, what I tell them, they should meet the people. Because most of NGOs are in towns. They are in Dar es Salaam, they are in Iringa, they are not in these villages. That's why uh, if you come to a place like here, you wouldn't find these NGOs. You'll just find maybe one representative, a local pe person, not foreigner. So what I'm telling these guys, they should come straight and meet the people because these are the people who they want to serve them. So they should come and meet them and see their problems. And uh, to me, I think most of NGOs are just in town. They are not in the areas where the real people are because uh, in Tanzania, more than 70% of population is just in the villages. So these people are born here, they stay here, they do their things here, they don't go even to town. So the people you are meeting in town, they are not the real people of this country. Uh -huh. I asked this guy and they said, oh, I know, we'll just go, no problem. It's okay. For me it's okay, it's good compromise. Safari is very, is more strong and uh, not so sweet. Uh, I was so much impressed with the integration of Hugo because uh, when he came first, I, I thought he would be like uh, the other guys that uh, he needs to stay in uh, big hotels and uh, then uh, making reports in town. But I was so much impressed with him because he went to the villages. He went to some villages which I have not even gone sometimes. He has slept in with these people, he has uh, taken food with them, he has uh, helped them in their jobs which they are doing, not only on solar but other things. He has discussed with them, so uh, at the moment he's looked to them as uh, one of them. And uh, in this way he learns a lot about them. And uh, this is the, the, the real approach which the foreigners are supposed to be doing. Because if you want to save these people, you have to be among them. So they have accepted him, not because uh, he visited them, but because he has acted as they are doing. Sleeping with them, talking with them, eating the food they, drinking the water they have, drinking the, the drink which they have. So really, it was a fantastic visit for him to go to visit these guys. And uh, he has visited almost all the villages, if not once, at least uh, three times, four times, and things of that kind. And uh, he went by different means. He went with a uh, uh, picky picky motorcycle, or he went with the ordinary bus, he went with the uh, uh, trucks. Oh, so uh, I can't say uh, that uh, he missed anything. Uh, he has done more than the Tanzanians are doing.